I think you have the Sacred Heart gene. That's what we say. If you, I mean, when when when, you, when a person hears the music and it really hits them or touches them, you know, you you you're uh, you're. I think that means your ear is set to a particular sound and a particular type of music. And then a lot of times that's the first thing that that might strike people. But then the words come, and, and the words to the music. Uh, which are I mean, were written 300 years ago, and that, and, and that old, you know, we, we've had, in fact, in this camp, we've had uh, three studies on the words and the verses and the, and the uh, writers of the poetry. And, uh, and one of the things we learned is how the truth of these words uh, holds and is relevant and speaks to speaks to us today. It's all, all people of different backgrounds and these days from all over the country. I think as of like the 80s it got really big in some bigger cities and cities where it was mostly a southern tradition and I'll meet people who for me it's kind of like if they're over 50 and their family grew up in the south, somebody in their family sang. But that's not been the case for people who've come to it like in a university setting or a bigger city and just come to these big singings. And I remember growing up we went to Chicago. And that was like a big trip we did every year to a huge convention that's there. And uh, you'll just meet people who live on farms in the South who are hanging out with people from all over the country and um, just interesting crowd. At certain places, you don't have to walk in the back door to hear it either. It's such a homogenous, mm -hmm. homogenous sound ideal that you can hear it from outside, and mm -hmm. you can't really tell the parts apart when you're out there until you really get in inside and listen. You it can all tell just, if it's a good singing or not. Right. When you're standing yeah. outside. You, <laughs> you can, can tell. maybe turn around and go back home. <laughs> Sometimes you can hear certain people too that you recognize yeah. the voice. You yeah. know, walk up in the church, you know, um, yard, and, and say, "Oh, well, so and so's here," because you, mm -hmm. know, you can actually hear them. Yeah. It's hard to describe it, kind of building off of what Allison was saying, it's hard to describe it to my friends who ask about um, why do you go to the singings every weekend, what is, you know, what is it, is it church, is it, you know, so, yes, sort of, and, it's, and sort of not, but yes, uh, uh, but it's kind of, um, it's more than just the singing part, it's kind of the camaraderie of the people that we sing with and the friendships, um, and that's the part that's kind of difficult to explain to people. Um, until they get into it, I think. Um, but it's more than just the friendships outside the singing, it's also when you're singing and uh, you're singing 
at people across the way on the alto or the treble and uh, occasionally they can even hear your voice um, and uh, the people right beside you especially um, and uh, so you're all kind of building off of each other and that's what makes the scene so strong I think. So. beliefs you have to have, yet it's still it's still a worship service. I do think that that's one of the things that is respected about Sacred Heart, though, that is a tradition that um, is very important, is that it is a worship experience, that it's more than just the singing, and more than even just the, um, you know, the, the family and fellowship, and um, because we're very blessed, I, I feel like that all of us sing and, and enjoy the music and you know of course we've been a lot of places together to to sing Sacred Heart as the kids were growing up. Everyone feels welcome, I think, that's ever been. And sometimes there are people who are drawn to it first because of the music, and then they discover the words, mm -hmm. and discover the, you know, the spiritual side of the song. And, uh, and then still others will say uh, about you know, the experience in the community that they didn't feel included or like they fit anywhere else. And they get to a sacred heart singing, and they just, you know, they just start to feel like they were part of something and were accepted and included so you know that's it's good to hear when you know people find something that they're looking for mm -hmm. whether it's the music or the words or the, you know, just the community experience really have loved the music and the tradition and the, the the whole culture of Sacred Heart which is really more than just notes on a page mix in there the fellowship and the fun and and all the friendships that are made because we're you know together for a week and it's just uh, makes for a great time. You hate to leave at the end of the week. I'll see.